I've been making daily content for the past six months and I must admit that it's a beating, but it's a commitment that I made to myself and it's taught me so much about creating content. So today I wanna share with you how to get better at content making and how you can make more videos than you ever thought possible. Let's begin. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Question of the day, how many YouTube videos do you have on your channel right now? Let me know in the comment section down below. One of the easiest ways to make more content is by going with a company that provides templates for Facebook, for Instagram, for YouTube that has pre-built videos that all you have to do is swap out images or short clips and you have a video ready to go. And one of the companies that does that incredibly well is called InVideo and I'll link them down below so you have a resource to pull from. But we're not gonna focus on those types of companies and those types of videos as they have their limits. Today, we're gonna focus on making videos from scratch. And the core concept that drives this entire system is the concept of batching. Batching is gonna speed up your video creation like nothing you've ever seen. Batching has helped me out immensely. It is the key reason that I've been able to publish one video for the past six months. And it's quite simple. There are six main steps that you need to follow. The first one is brainstorming ideas. Batching separates the video creation process into six main steps. Each of these steps is gonna be done in isolation for multiple videos. So instead of making a video from beginning to end, you're breaking up the process along the way. You're no longer coming up with the idea of the video, shooting it, editing and publishing, you are now separating every step of the video creation process and doing that for multiple videos. And the second step is optimizing for SEO, search engine optimization. As you know, YouTube operates as a search engine. So in this step, you're taking everything that you brainstormed and optimizing for it. You're optimizing titles, you're optimizing for keywords that you want to rank for. And it's okay if you nix out some ideas that you had during the brainstorming session. That's fine, brainstorming is just a draft. Here's where you're refining the final topics and the final videos that you're going to record. And one of the best tools that you can use in this step is TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is an extension that helps you craft out the perfect title and it helps you decide if your video and your topic has enough search volume and has a good chance of ranking based off of your competition. And of course, I'll link it down below along with another extension called vidIQ, which works very similarly to TubeBuddy. And now that you have the optimal title and keywords that you're trying to rank for, you move on to the third step, which is scripting. Here's what you decide what you're going to say. Either you script out the entire video word by word, line by line, or you just provide a template for yourself and provide a few notes on items that you wanna cover and just speak off the cuff, whatever feels easiest for you. One quick favor before continuing, please be sure to hit the like button so this video's reach is magnified and others benefit. Also, don't forget to check out my free courses, link in description. As an example, I only provide bullet points for myself and then just fill in the rest with how I speak organically. Then you go on to the fourth step, which is the fun one. This is where you record. So you sit in front of the camera or sit in front of the webcam or go out in location depending on the video that you're making. And this is where batching really takes over, especially if you're going out in location where you're able to shoot multiple videos in one day versus taking a good amount of time going on location every single day trying to shoot a different video. Batching just really helps you out here. And this is especially beneficial as you get into flow, as you get into state and are knocking out the videos because, you know, let's be honest, you feel good. There are some days, there are some mornings and afternoons that you just may not be up to the task and it's gonna show. And now on to the fifth step, which is editing. 
And this right here is my Achilles heel. So I thank my editor every single day for making this what you're seeing even resemble a good video. Editing's difficult for me and regardless of how much I try, I still can't get to the level of a professional editor's standards. So that's why I handed it off to a professional editor. But regardless, if you send it to an editor or do the editing yourself, batching is gonna help you out because as I mentioned, you get into state, you get into flow. So there are times where you feel super creative in the editing software and you're able to bust out a ton of videos. Not only that, you're on the move. You're going to listing appointments, to buyer appointments, and sometimes you cannot be behind the computer for an extended period of time. And step number six is distributing. This is where you take all of the finalized videos and upload them to the platforms that you plan to publish them in. So this is where you upload your videos to Vimeo, to YouTube, to Facebook, and start optimizing them from the back end. As an example, I upload as many videos as possible on YouTube so I can work on optimizing the tags, optimizing the end screens, the cards, the playlist, and the description all at once. Well, now that you know the six steps in video creation and the concept of batching, it's time to go out and create videos. And I'm gonna leave a video right here that's gonna help you do that. And if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe so we can talk again soon.